welcome to this week's episode of Fossil Fuel Fridays. Introducing your hosts, Ken Lavin with Winter Mud and Matt Hill with Night Energy Services. Take care and God bless. Hey everybody, I'm Matt Hill and with Night Energy Services. This is Ken Lavin with Winter Mud. Who's our guest? Rick Bobble with M5 Incorporated. All right, Rick, here's our show everybody. Fossil Fuel, Fuel Fridays. All right. Rick, thanks for being on the show. Today. Absolutely. Thanks for you. being here, man. Our show is all about uh, highlighting people in our industry and uh, finding out a little bit about what they do and who they are. So uh, right. tell us a little bit about M5 Incorporated. What okay. are they? Well, we are a manufacturer's rep company. <clears throat> Excuse me. We uh, uh, basically a wholesaler. We market regulators and valves, anything to do with production, uh, pipeline industry. We sell to the supply stores. Okay. Yeah. And what are y'all guys known for? Really, regulators, bell gas regulators, and there's a sale right there, the phone call. Um, That's but, another sale right yeah, there. Yeah, there's another sale. Awesome. Probably half a million dollar sale there, probably. Yeah. That's good. We like half a million dollar sales. Uh, <laughs> bell gas regulators, we started with them in 2004. They've been our longest product that we've ripped, I guess, for the longest to, uh, time. Now, and I think you're being a little, you think you're being underselling a little bit. Didn't you say y'all are their bell gas is number one? Yes, we have. For now, us and there's a company in Houston, friends of ours, they're a rep company, 3C Valve. We kind of go back and forth, but recently we have been their number one uh, uh, rep company in the world. Wow. Selling more regulators, bell gas regulators than anybody. So. Where'd y'all start? Uh, we started here in Oklahoma City, but actually a few blocks to the south here um, with a small little bitty old place, uh, uh, probably, I don't know, 300 square foot facility. Uh, Darren McBride started in 2004. He actually worked for KF Bowles at that time uh, and uh, in Houston. Started this company here uh, and then we just quickly grew into... Uh, you know, where have you all grown to now? How, where all are you well, located? Yeah. So we, we started in Oklahoma City, then moved to this bigger facility shortly after 2004. And then Kilgore, we bought a place down there. Uh, then moved to Cleburne, uh, Fort Worth area. Pratt, Kansas, and in Big Spring, Texas. Yeah, well, you guys are covering a lot of bases. Right, so. and soon to be Shreveport. We're I was going to ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another yeah. place in Shreveport? Might come busit you guys down there. Yeah, come in. Do you, ha do you have in. anything for the Northeast, maybe? No, 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 no. Okay. We, I tell you, that's... Not yet. That's, not, yeah, not, not, yet. Yet. not yet. We have actually talked about it, but... Worldwide, uh, right? Different, different market. Yeah, young and up and comers. We met him. Like, yeah, he might be your, we, your global uh, distribution guy. You never it could be. That's the thing. We've got a good team of people uh, that that's with us now and, and have been with us for a while. But uh, yeah, we're we're pretty fortunate. Where did you come from? Like, how long <clears throat> have you been in the industry? How did you even get into oil and gas? Good question. Well, I was roughnecking in high school, uh, working on drilling rigs, and uh, the the boom went bust. You know, in eighties. Uh, so. Uh, rough. I actually went to college at that point and then uh, got out and uh, oh, about 20 years ago or 25, I got back in the oil field at the distribution level, supply okay. stores. Okay. Um, and so, um, you know, when I'm working at the supply store and I see these guys coming in, you know, and they're, they're talking about golf tournaments that, that they play in. They're talking about feeds they do, you know, cookouts and tailgates and stuff. And I'm thinking, man, that's kind of what I want to do. Well, that was the marketing. And that's, I saw this stuff and I was like, man, I, I, I need to do that. So. And, and so like, like we do often, we brag and show everybody we do all that stuff, but no one sees behind the scenes no. and all those phone calls oh, and all the kicks yeah. in the pants we get. Uh, there's man, yeah, a lot of those right. out there. Yeah. There's a lot more to it than meets the eye for sure. Yeah. But you know, <laughs> it does, glory have, days it does have its great. perks. It does have its perks. It right, does. Right, right. So, what would you say to people uh, coming into the oil and gas industry? Uh, I mean, how, how do they get into our industry? What should they be looking for? Uh, should they be engineering? Should they be business degrees? Right. What's their values they should have? Yeah, I, I'd say it depends on your personality. I mean, if you've got an outgoing personality, you need to get into marketing, right? Uh -huh. I mean, if, if you can, if you can make friends with people pretty quickly, uh, because your customers ultimately become friends. Uh, Man, no kidding. I, I love that. Yeah, so I uh, agree. Yeah. The more time I spend with my customers, the more they are my friends, sure. and they're my friendsmers now, right? There's yeah. really no one that's I want to hang out They're hanging out at our house more than they are there. Right? <laughs> that's good. I like that phrase, friendsmers. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, that's exactly right. Uh, you know, uh, it, but just be honest with with people. Because, like I said, if you if you try to BS them, that you you won't get anywhere with them. You're going to go backwards. Um, you can learn everything 
want to about the equipment and the technology to learn the science behind it, what it does. You can find out why that truck's pulling up yeah. and, and dumping off equipment here. But more regulators. More regulators. More. You guys are growing. That's good. Yeah. That. They're still but going. At the end of the day, honesty with your customers. Honesty with the customers. You know, be straightforward and honest with them, and uh, they respect that. Is well, there a, is there a great way that they can get in touch with you? Yes. Yep. Um, you can call us at 405-440-0939 or on the internet, am5incorporated.com, I believe is. am5incorporated.com. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So before I let you go, okay. I want to find out a little bit more uh, about you. Mm -hmm. So you have a band. We do. We have a, a four-piece string band yeah. called, called Red Grass String Band. We call it that because we mix bluegrass music and red dirt country, and we do a little bit of other stuff. You know, we'll play a Tom Petty song here and there or something like that. But um, we, uh, uh, it's it's uh, all strings, no drums, nothing against drummers. They just <laughs> so okay, we don't have it. So strings. What uh, tell us the four you have? What you, so what? we have a uh, Scott plays stand up bass. Oh. Brandon plays guitar. John plays fiddle, and I play guitar and banjo. Nice. We're gonna, you guys got a Facebook page? How do I find mm -hmm. that? Yeah. Yep. Um, you can just look up uh, Red Grass String Band on Facebook, and it'll pop up there. We've We're going to play a clip on this video with uh, his permission, of course. Oh I mean, uh, I, I, that, yeah. yeah, that's a yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. We're You'll play see it here, everybody. You're going to love it. I promise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm going to let you go, and I just, man, Rick, thank you for being in our industry. Uh, thank you. You know, a, another guy to reach out to to be your mentor and uh, find out about the industry. You know, yeah. call him up, get a hold of him, ask him about parts or uh, just the industry in general. Yep. Absolutely. Anything we can do to help, we'd be more than happy to do it. Thank you guys for what you do, and thanks for being here, man. Appreciate thank you it. Absolutely. Everybody, see you next time. Take care. God bless everybody. <laughs> Dang girl, why you gotta look so good? Dang girl, why you gotta be related? Dang girl, why you gotta look so good? We were next to kin, Grandma tucked us in. We both knew it was a sin. But what you gonna do when Grandma tells you to? Well, dang girl, why we gotta be related? Hey.